Welcome back to the channel. Today, um, I did not get to go out and make my regular kind of video today. I've been dealing with HVAC people and all other kinds of things, doctor's appointment and all that kind of stuff. So the day kind of got away from me and I thought instead what I would do today, because I am going to make a video, <laughs> what I would do today is compare three different ways to make these kinds of videos. If if you are interested in sort of what goes on behind the scenes, or if you are interested in, you know, what is the best way for me to make videos, whether it's for YouTube or the family or whatever, what, what is the best way to do that? That's what this video is for. And I'm not going to take a, not going to take up a lot of your time today, but we're going to talk about three things. We're going to talk about the iPhone and we're going to talk about the, uh, DJI Pocket 3, and we're going to talk about the Canon R6 Mark II with a 15 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens. I know that's a mouthful, but stick with me. Um, and we'll talk about the difference in price. I, I don't remember exactly what all these things cost, but I'll put the price up as we're going. I'm shooting on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I think I have a 256 gigabyte hard drive. I didn't get the the biggest one, uh, and it does everything that I needed to do. But I'll I'll figure out the price for that. Put that up on the screen. Right now, I am using the selfie camera, and I'm sitting very close to the phone. Typically, I have the phone turned around the other way, and I'm using the main camera on the back of the camera. And I sit back here because uh, I don't know I don't know how much of me is in the frame. <laughs> I don't exactly know where I'm at. So I try to make enough where I can come in. But you can see just that little bit of difference. I only backed up about 18 inches, maybe two feet tops. But you can, I think you should be able to hear the difference in the audio. I'm not using an external mic. The further you get away from the microphone, the worse the audio is going to sound, especially when you're in a room like this. I've got tile floor, hardwood floor, all sheetrock walls, sheetrock ceiling. Sound just bounces everywhere. But this is the kind of quality that you can get straight out of the camera. I don't have to do any editing to it. Uh, I might adjust the white balance when I bring it into DaVinci Resolve. Um, but you can just do this video. Now, let me show you what the DJI Pocket 3 looks like. Okay, so <clears throat> I am sitting the exact same distance from the, um, from the tripod as I was with the phone. But the, the Pocket 3 has a little wider field of view, which means I look a little smaller in the frame. But it also has more microphones. It has three microphones around the outside. I'm not, I have an external microphone I can connect to it that, that does wonders. But I don't always bother to use it because I can just do this. Now, the thing about, the thing about this and the phone is I've got me right here in front of me on a screen. And it is so tempting to look at me while I talk but I need to look at the camera. And I watch so many YouTube videos where people do this with the, with the phone. They're watching themselves talk and they're not looking at the audience. Always gotta think. <clears throat> but this is, again, straight out of the camera. Now, one of the things that's different about this particular um, piece of equipment is I can control the light better. I can control um, a lot of things about the video better than I can on the phone. Um, and I'm recording on the phone, I'm recording to a sensor <laughs> that's about this big. This has a one inch sensor. So the file is actually easier to work with. I'm filming everything in 4K. Um, but you can see the difference. Now, I'll put the, the cost of the DJI uh, Pocket 3, just the camera um, that you can buy with one microphone, 
you don't need all the bells and whistles. Um, and so you can kind of compare the price between the, the nice thing about the phone is most of us already have one and it doesn't have to be an iPhone 15 Pro Max. It could be an iPhone 7 and you can still take great video with it. So you can get started without any, without any kind of investment, but this is a bit of an investment. The nice thing about it is it's on a gimbal so I can carry it around with me everywhere and I don't get that jerky, bouncy feeling. It's got face tracking ability so that if I turn that on, I can move left to right and the, and the camera will follow me. So there's a few improvements along the way to get to the Pocket 3. The Pocket 3 is what I generally use when I am out on my photography channel. And I'll have a video up on Saturday um, shooting some pictures at a tree house I mentioned yesterday that was all shot on the Pocket 3. Now let me show you what the Canon R6 Mark II looks like. This is the Canon R6 Mark II without a microphone. This is what the audio sounds like in the camera itself. These cameras are not built <laughs> to record sound. So let me turn this off and turn it back on with a microphone. So this is with a microphone. Uh, you, you'll see I've got the microphone here in my pocket. Um, you've seen me talk about these Kamika mics that I use on the phone. They have a little USB-C plug that plugs into the end of the phone. This is the same company. This is the Kamika company and the microphone sort of looks like this. It's small. It's, it, it is not shiny, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, this is the camera that I use when I am filming my new retired me channel and I'm filming things in the house. Now I have had to back up about another foot or so. I'm at 15 millimeters on this lens. I have a 15 to 35 millimeter wide angle lens, which is actually wider than the phone and wider than the, um, than the uh, Pocket 3, and yet I can't get as much of me in the screen because of the way the lens works and all of that. So I got to back up a little bit. This is on the Canon R6 Mark II. You don't have to buy a camera that expensive, but I'll put up what that costs. I'm using the most expensive 15 to 35 millimeter lens Canon makes, <laughs> and you don't have to do that either. Um, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things where um, I, this is overboard, granted, and you have to buy a microphone. So the costs just keep going up and up and up. Now I'm just, again, I'm just using my kitchen light, my dining room light for my new retired me channel. I have a big light with a, with a uh, balloon cover on it, over it that, that softens it and widens it out and all of that. You don't have to start there. You don't have to have that. But these are the, the main kinds of choices. There are much cheaper cameras. You could buy perfectly good cameras for uh, five or $600 if that's what you wanted to do. And you could buy them used if that's what you wanted to do. You don't have to have the most expensive bells and whistles. But this will just give you an idea of the difference between the phone and the Pocket 3 and the camera. So now I'm gonna go back to the phone. So this has been a little bit of an exercise in futility on my part, but, <laughs> but I, have, I have wanted to sort of show the differences. If you are looking for something to film yourself in your home, any of these things will work, depending on whether you already have a camera. Um, I would suggest if you have a camera like the R6 Mark II, that you get a camera where the screen will, will come out so that you can see yourself while you are, um, while you're videoing, because that's a downside to the phone, unless you're using this selfie facing camera, which really limits what you're doing. So, it, but if you're going outside, if you're going to do the kinds of videos that I'm trying to do outside, that Canon R6 Mark II is not going to do the trick. It's just not. 
because you're never going to get it to be stabilized enough. The footage is just going to be jittery all over the place unless you buy a really expensive gimbal for another two or three thousand dollars. And nobody wants to do that. So the phone works really, really well. And you probably already have one in your pocket. But if you want to step it up from there, the DJI Pocket 3 is probably the best camera on the market to do this kind of run and gun, moving around, shooting. And it is the camera that I will be recording all of my video on for our family trip to Scotland in a couple of weeks. Um, so anyway, we will, uh, we will get back to doing the video I wanted to do today. We'll do that video tomorrow. And uh, that's when we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow.